pointed way over there. Pinball parts or not. Yeah, Dave's not here. Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a long time since we did pinball parts or not. Um, this is going to be maybe two videos. Um, maybe just one video. Anyways, um, uh, Monday, August 5th here in southeastern Wisconsin and what's the temp 77 degrees outside yeah it's been a while um Hollywood heat is here uh, card tricks that is that part is all up and running um, Liberty Bell is actually I believe 100% working now I just got to put the new flippers on and the new glass and the labels for the um, dummy digits that are on there they have to go on um, card tricks is right here I just stripped the playfield down and ordered the last of the parts that it needs um, motorboards all done um, heads all done but yeah so let's get to it um, the big reason why we're doing this is because I have to move Last Action Hero to here. Hollywood Heat's got to go there. The reason why, um, because my basement, the way, you know, it always slopes to drain. And where I have Last Action Hero, it's sloped down and it just plays like crap where it's at. So, Hollywood Heat, it's got, um, it's got about that much adjustment on the legs right now. Last Action Hero doesn't have that quite of adjustment on it. At least if I put it right here, I can adjust it real super easy. Plus, um, it's got some parts. But anyways, um, I don't even know what half this stuff is. Because some of the stuff I've had sitting here in the basement for a long, 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 long time. So, we'll figure out what it is. Um, first package. What do we got? Oh. All right, let's just throw my junk over here. Filters for my vacuum cleaner. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's a part number. Oh, it's right there. Filters for my vacuum cleaner. Oh, uh, my vacuum cleaner. Well, I've been using it for everything, so filters are dirty. Um, plus there's a mod. I kind of want to do it to it. Next package. What do we got here? This is the mod for the filter on my little shop back. Um, you use these over the filter and that um, lets you shake the dust off and everything and reuse the filter. You can throw these out. 
All right. All right, what's this one? I do not even know what's in this one. I knew what some of them were. This one, I have no idea. Oh, I do know now. Well, at least one thing. I do know what's in here. One thing I do know. Oh, forgot about this one. Bet you don't know what that one is. I actually had to read the sticker that's on the box. Sticker that's on the label. Cabin air filter. This is for my Explorer ST. Um, yeah, it's got a air filter in the cabin. Because it's fancy and stuff like that. Forgot I even ordered that. Hmm. Mmm, spicy. The last one that's in here? Yep. <laughs> I see you. What are those for? Do you see Arnold Schwarzenegger? Eyes for pinball machines. Anyways, yeah, I'm crazy. I guess we're gonna do this all in one video. So I'm just burning through it. So what have you guys been up to? I have um a lot of um what do you call it? Um just stuff going on in my life right now that is occupying my time way too much way too much where I've just been behind on everything getting everything done it's power cord I found black ones online instead of brown ones So instead of putting me putting brown cords in games now, I can put black cords in games now. All right. Come on, you guys can hear what's in here. Is this one pinball parts or not? Come on. This one I just got actually Saturday. Mm. I put this on the stairs. So I can pay it. I got a mess of garbage on the floor now. Um, here we go. Flipper rubber, yellow. Don't know why I ordered yellow, but I did for some reason. I got these little grommets. These are for um, relays that are on motorboards that are just um, wore out, nasty, gone. Um, 
2 amp slow blow fuses. Ten amp slow blow fuses and six and a quarter amp slow blow fuses. Slow blow. Williams flipper bats. Um, this is every pinball machine I shop now gets new bats regardless um, ever since I got my last action hero and we we're playing a game and hit the ball and the flipper just snapped in half I'm like oh I guess from now on I'm not using old bats anymore you know because a lot of times you get the bats on the game and they look like in excellent shape you know they they look brand new except for they're like yellowed or whatever so I just been they're garbage now. Now every game gets brand new baths. It's just part of my refurbishing. These are brand new pop bumper caps for Liberty Bell. I do have stickers here that my buddy Dave's Arcade made for me. I think these yellow ones are going to go on here. I might as well stick them over there. We got balls. Little acorn caps for the, um, what do you call it? Play fields. Those can go over there with the rubbers. Um, although I was did the rubber kit on the Liberty Bell, but those are basically um, what do you call it? I put them with the rubbers. I think I do. Yeah, because I got these. So yeah, they go with pinball rubber. I don't see any in here, therefore I must have been keeping them somewhere else. But anyways, these are the acorn caps that hold down um, plastics on games. This, I don't know what the hell this is. They are wrapped up real beautifully though. I said I usually make an order. Oh, it's a new coil. Z29. 1250. There we go. I um I started focus. I started email order and then I just keep um adding on to it for a while. I just add and add and add and add to it. So that's what this was. I used one of these in Liberty Bell, so I just had to replenish my stock. And then we'll look at this. If you're in this area, uh, the White Rose Game Room Shore, York Fairgrounds, Memorial Hall East, 334 Carlisle Avenue, York, Pennsylvania, 17404. Or go see at www.theyorkshow.com or facebook.com, The York Show. Yeah. 10 by 10 vendor space is 150 includes electric. Indoor flea market space, 100 bucks, no electric. For more in information, contact Rich Marquette, 717-845-8667 or rich at theyorkshow.com. Uh, 2040, blah, 2024 White Rose Game Room Show, October 11th and 12th, York Fairgrounds, York, PA. One price all day admission, play pinball, video, and arcade games for the past and present. No quarters needed, no hourly charges. Flea market, game room decor, neon signs, door prizes, slot machines, game tournaments, parts vendors, 
children activities and more free parking bring a game for a free play area get free admission all day admission prices adults are 15 bucks that's a steal children ages 6 to 12 five dollars and ages five and under free here's a little QR code if you want to scan that just pause uh, the thing if I can hold it there long enough you can scan that I do like focus I like promoting these shows so whenever I get parts and I get something like this in there I promote it even though it's out of my area but you may be watching and in the area and do not know nothing about this so yeah October 11th and 12th in 2024 if you're in New York PA area go visit This can go over here now. Um, this one right here, I'm not going to really open. I'm just going to tell you what it is. It is a pin to DMD for Last Action Hero. This one I'd like to thank um, my friend Dave from Dave's Arcade. If you don't know who he is, just um, go down in the link below. I'll put a link to his YouTube channel. He's also on Twitch. Anyway, Dave bought me this DM, um, color DMD, well, pin to DMD for Last Action Hero, which is actually right here. He bought me this because I got him the world's best killer deal on uh, Star Trek Next Generation. Um, my friend Joe contacted me. I bought it, I think, last year. About this guy wanting to either fix it or sell it. And this guy just kind of like didn't do anything for a year. And then out of the blue, the guy um, contacted Joe and said, Hey, I want this gone right now. I don't want to fix it. I just want it gone. And Joe contacted me right away. And I'm like, Ugh. Oh. If I buy this game, I'm just probably going to buy it and just fix it and flip it. So, and I knew my, um, two of my friends, Dave and Ryan, really, really wanted a Star Trek Next Generation. So, I told them, and Dave went and bought it immediately because it was a steal of a deal. Um, it's a cool game, I'm, it's just not something I'm that interested in. However, my friend Dave is like a total Star Trek Next Generation nut. And he still watches that show to this day. And I knew it would be in more appreciated if he had it versus myself having it. Because I really don't want it and I was just going to flip it. Because um, yeah, I could have just flipped it the way it sat, put it that way, and walked out away with cash in my pocket. That's how cheap it was. But anyways, so me being a good friend, uh, my pinball buddies, I'm like, here's the deal. So Dave went and picked it up, and it turned out to be an awesome game. It needed a lot of work, but it turned out to be an awesome game. However, he knew that he got a deal that he would have never, ever got. And... um he was buying these um, pin to DMDs for his machines and they just look beautiful. And I'm like, damn, I gotta get one for Last Action Hero. So I think it was like a day later, Dave said, do not order a uh, pin to DMD, I bought you one. I'm like, okay, cool, you know. I don't have to buy one because I knew he was buying some in, you know, with this thing. And I'm like, well, just, you know, let me know what I, I, or I owe you for it. Is it was either either that or he just said I bought it to you for anyways I, don't, I remember, can't remember if I asked him what I owed or or what but he said don't worry about it you got me that killer deal on a game I always wanted so that was like a a thank you because let's just say um Star Trek Next Generation it, it's it's a pretty badass game however the price you're gonna pay for one it's like 
is it really that much fun? But like I said, the price that Dave got on it, um, it was a steal of a deal. And the little bit he stuck into it, the game is beautiful and working great. And it, it's a fun game. So his thanks was, you know, for me, I could have easily just said, hey, um, I got this game, you want to give it to me for this price. And he would have still bought it. But like I said, I just gave him the contact information and let him buy it. Because, you know, I, I could have made money off one of my buddies. They wouldn't have never known, you know what I mean? But, no, it's not about that. It's about you taking care of your friends and your friends will take care of you, you know, someday. So, like Space Shuttle, Dave knew I wanted one and he got me one. He got me one at a really good, good price. So my way of getting them back was, you know, here you go. Just call the guy and you originate, you know, initiate everything with him about price. I just told him what the guy said he was willing to let it go for, which was stupid cheap. Let's just say it that way. So anyways, Dave got a game that he's been dreaming, you know, of owning his whole, whole life, except for the price was just, you know, way up here. But when you can buy a game right down here, or actually down here, that's when you buy it. So anyways, we got one more right here. What is this one? Is it what's in the box? What does that say? Speedy Flipper Man Service. Where could it be? I pinned to two DMD. I will be making an install video on Last Action Hero, but Last Action Hero's got to go here first, so I have room to work on it because I can't work on it there. But I want to do a couple adjustments on this one first. Oh shit! I hate peanuts. I royally hate. Peanuts. I hate these damn things. I hate peanuts. <laughs> Did I tell you I hate peanuts? I understand why they're used, but I hate peanuts. Look at that. Boom, 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 boom. I have um Kin Sound in Last Action Hero. So we had to upgrade the regular sound also. Oh, I hate peanuts. Some more stuff. Ooh. Even has this blue stuff, I believe, is anti rattle tape. For the boom, 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 boom. Wiring, all that good stuff. Mmm. Spicy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all this crap. Dump it out and I put the stuff back in this box. This should be the other two speakers. I was going to do two videos. But you guys got one super long one. These are two way speakers. I'll just leave them in there. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. 
These ones don't move as much as that bigger one. I'll just leave those like that. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Hate peanuts. Really hate peanuts. That's it. And I'll dump this stuff out in a bag. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, check out um Dave's arcade. He um well, actually will be streaming this Friday. Um Will I get this video out by then? Hopefully, maybe I'll have it out tonight. Maybe you'll see it August 6th. Anyways, I gotta move stuff. I gotta get this out of the way. I gotta tighten up the pop bumper on that and the slingshot. And that's about it. So cool stuff along the bottom here. Give me a thumbs up. Like and subscribe. Please like and subscribe. Okay, I don't okay, I'm not gonna point at everybody. I'm just gonna be like <sighs> Like and subscribe, please. Um check out Dave's arcade. Um he streams on Twitch and YouTube on Fridays. This Friday is gonna be earlier, so you might be able to see me and then Dave will be here, man. Um, so, um, take care and thumbs up and later.